Hello, welcome to Totally Random. Okay, so um, had a brilliant, beautiful gift from Paul Spriggett, and um, I've got a bit of rambling to do too, so just going to talk about this lock. Uh, it's not completely finished yet, um, to my satisfaction, but um, yeah, fucking smudge on it. Anyway, it shouldn't be white up the top. It's gonna. It was brush dully to start with, and I was going to polish it, and I etched it and sprayed it black, and didn't like the look of that etched or black. Uh, so I sprayed it white. Now it looks very sterile. Now if we turn it around, uh, if we're dropping that or losing the money, it's in a little pile. Let's see the back of it. So you can let yourself out and what I've done to stop it falling over is mounted the door stop there. Uh, so there's still, depending on what angle you measure that off, that's probably 45 degrees if we cut that straight in there. Um, not getting a protractor out now or other tools to measure that but just a couple of L brackets down the bottom here. I don't even know what you can see because I'm looking at the bloody lock, not through the camera. Okay, so but L brackets down here, two screws a piece either side, so there's four all up. Two on the top just to spread it apart. She locks up nice. Hinges are just standard, however, they do protrude a little on the front, so I wasn't able to um, sand or yeah. yeah, I'll turn it around so you can see what I mean. I wasn't able to block it back over these two pieces, so I just blocked every piece back individually. I'm trying to keep it in fucking shot. So the name plate will go there. Um, and we'll just pop that aside for a second. So, what have we got here? One, two, three, four, and five. So we've ten cents of the uh, discontinued Australian currency. It's vacant, as you can see at the moment. Put two cents in. Did that? We can open the lock. Then you would shut the door which engages the uh, change mechanism dropping the money into the collection area which is down here hang on so there you can see two cents so I'll take those keys out just in case you think there's some tomfoolery going on and that is the attendance key so should someone happen to fall asleep, uh, have a fit, uh, have a baby, have uh, any myriad of situation that could occur behind a locked door that someone else can't get into, um, emergency services or an attendant could get in there. Maybe someone was just an idiot, went in there, climbed over the top, I don't know. If you're ever a teenage boy, I mean, all sorts of silly things happen in toilets. And by that, I don't mean anything suspicious. I mean, boys smoking and things like that and running away from a teacher by climbing over the top of the stall. Now, for some reason, ah, oh, it's still engaged. So what hasn't happened here is the rear mech has not been engaged, so there you see. The act of someone letting themselves out hasn't been achieved. So, you may find that a bit interesting. Anyway, I'm just going to trial this five times, close it, we heard it drop, that opens her up. Because I feel that testing something a few times is worthwhile. Now, something you should probably take note of this. Oh, there you go. He built it. Well, I didn't build it. I just restored it. Well, I'm not even finished yet. I'm going to sandblast that and, yeah, make it shiny. It would fit more well with the look. So, 
I sent a few different iterations off to a painter and decorator, and um, yeah, got different feedback. So, other thing I'd like to mention is the uh, hashtag AA Bill. A-A-B-I-L-L which if you know anything about locks and security and I'd imagine you do that's why you're watching this channel you'd realise that uh, someone having a copy of your keys is pretty fucking stupid unless they're very trusted and at that point who can you trust in this day and age that said uh, we have to go to some extent with uh, at trusting people to a degree. So, if someone can look at things because they have the authority to, that's kind of like having the coin. However, if that's engaged and someone has the key to your encryption or whatever else, they're in like that. Now, the point I'm trying to make about this, and I don't want to... Uh, how do I put it? I've got crap on my hand. Hang on a second. Turns out there was some polish still on that key. Where am I? Yeah. I didn't disassemble it before I polished it. I should have, which I will do at some point because I'm, yeah, it's not shiny enough yet. Uh, okay, but the point I'm trying to make is, right? This is your encryption key. Where are we? This is your encryption key. Right? This is your bank down here. Accounts online. So we'll take those keys out. We'll pretend that everything's normal. We'll reset the lock. And this is your piggyback. Maybe this is your superannuation. That you use to pay off your new car or something like that. Maybe it's a house payment. And you're entitled to come and go with your money when you choose because you earned it. Hang on. We sort of did a double up there. Now we'll have to get ourselves out. With the government having access to everything that you have online, your phone, your mobiles, your computers, your tablets, your PCs, whatever else, it's almost like someone having a key that can enter the private domain which you've already paid for with your taxes and everything else. So, <clears throat> I'm no expert on politics, but a man, a good man, sent me this lock and some blank keys. And this is the analogy I'm trying to make here. I knew nothing of this lock other than it used a lever mechanism downstairs and it also had a flag blank up top which I knew nothing about so to get past that that was cut now to get the change I'm pressing this key here and there's the money effectively what the Australian government wants to do right now is have this key and this key to your life. So I'm sorry to sully this video with that topic. However, backdoors and encryption, or backdoors to encrypted, I think I'm speaking to the converted and the choir here, but, and, cheers, Australia. We just fucked up real bad. Um, 
Yeah, I said it was going to be a ramble. I'll try and get that back in shot for those of you interested in looking at that. Pro tip, if you need to film something in... Uh, that's too tall, get a selfie stick. Your other device, stick it in that and use your phone. Or some other device that a selfie stick can hold. Your burner if you've got one. Anyway... The lock works. I'm happy with how it looks painted and polished at the moment. Uh, however, I'm not happy with the state of uh, yeah the, the the country. That's ridiculous because this is the point I'm trying to get back to. And yes, I haven't painted the red arrow on there yet. <laughs> uh, but when I find a decent die marker, I will. This is the point. If a nefarious character, any anyone, it doesn't have to be in Australia, it could be in America, it could be anyone in the fucking world, were to hack the fucking system that all that, that is that backdoor, everyone is fucking owned like that. Quick, smart in a hurry. Don't you even worry about that. You're pwned. What, what, what more is there to fucking say about that? I mean, yeah, I'm ranting now. I've taken, you know, what, 12 minutes or more to present something which I was really enjoying and just, well, I cancel that. I do really enjoy. But, uh, yeah, I've contaminated it with this. And the really, the reason I'm mentioning it is because Article 13 as well, that's another issue for the EU or however it stands at the moment. That may stop people in the EU talking to people in America or Australia, you know, or those communications being watched with the, the content. I mightn't be able to watch someone's video or vice versa. That is fucking ridiculous. You're not hurting one. You're not harming anyone. You're just minding your own business. I mean, this was sent to me with the intention of impressing the keys, which I did, and mounting it on something, which I've done. I'm, it's still not finished, so I'm going to brush that back and come back once and I'll, we'll have a happy ending, so to speak. But, yeah, she works like a charm. Uh, <clears throat> I think I've made my point about the Australian politics at the point in time. That's the back of it. So, yeah, if I had more base plate, I'd sort of do silly things with it, you know, maybe 3D print a, a dummy bowl, but uh, that's where the state of politics is right now in Australia. In the meantime, uh, give it a decent, better polish.